Pungent stench of mildew emanates from the wet dungeon walls. Where are the Cheetos? They're right next to you. I cast a spell. Where's the Mountain Dew? In the fridge, duh! You really never know what developers are going to come up with next, especially when it comes to video game easter eggs. And today, we're going to check out some of the most utterly bizarre, silliest, oddest, strange and weird and wackiest secrets that they have come up with and that we can find, as this is the Easter Egg Hunter. Our first easter egg today is one of the latest secrets to be discovered in Call of Duty Modern Warfare as it was just several days ago that the game had yet another update and brought with it the map of Cheshire Park, a medium sized multiplayer destination set in the city of London and where apparently you can help to eradicate an infestation of rats by utilising the Pied Piper statue located at the centre of the map. Because if you look around carefully, you'll be able to find a mousetrap positioned in one of many random locations which can be shot to help spawn a second trap somewhere else upon the map. And once you've found a total of 5 traps, for some utterly weird reason a wedge of cheese will magically appear for you to collect and marry up with a large wheel of cheese that will be resting in another random location. Then after what might have taken you quite some time to achieve, you can then head to the Pied Piper statue to make an offering to help you complete this rather random easter egg. Freeman in the flesh. Or rather, in the hazard suit. Yeah, next up are two of my favourite secret endings in a video game, as this is Crowbar Collective's Black Mesa, so skip ahead if you don't want to see them. And just like in Half-Life, the G-Man will come to greet Gordon Freeman and praise him for his efforts. But if you're willing to make an even bigger effort throughout your adventure, then you could always spruce up the ending and make it a little more interesting. As it is, during Chapter 3, known as Unforeseen Consequences, that you can find a secret purple hat. And if you are crazy enough to carry it all the way through to Chapter 18 and drop it into the portal before the final boss, then this will happen at the end. Gordon Freeman in the flesh. Or rather, in the hazard suit. I took the liberty of relieving you of your weapons. Most of them were government property. As for the suit, I think you've earned it. But if you're after something a little different, then you could always carry the pizza found in Chapter 11 to the end for an even stranger ending. Gordon Freeman in the flesh. Or rather, in the hazard suit. I took the liberty of relieving you of your weapons. Most of them were government property. As for the suit, I think you've earned it. This is the Chinese Room's first person adventure, Everybody's Gone to the Rapture, a 2016 title that is set around the fictitious village of Yorton, located deep in the countryside of Shropshire. An idyllic setting and a place you might expect to find a tight knitted community and a welcoming crowd. Yet it is almost immediately you will notice that the entire village has been abandoned. Not a soul in sight, apart from a strange glowing orb guiding the way that helps to provide some context of the villagers' fates and is as close to human contact that you will ever find, which makes this upcoming easter egg even stranger. As if you make your way to the Tipworth Junction and head upstairs into the nearby signal box, it is within the reflection of the glass covering the map that you will discover this mysterious figure.
Unfortunately, it's not very easy to see thanks to all the objects in the way, but if you hack the camera, we can zoom in for a close look at the figure whom appears in the reflection to be standing in the doorway. Now, I'm not entirely sure what this is, but I'm wondering whether it has something to do with the character's movement since there is a frame surrounding it and perhaps put in to give this creepy effect or behind the scenes look. And I have reached out to the developers in hopes that they can shed some light on this mystery. Alongside familiar faces, fresh faced recruits. The older guys like Miller, Sergeant Sullivan, and myself. We're known as the old breed. Holmes, we're not even out of our 20s. Time for some more Call of Duty action now, as we're heading to Treyarch and Activision's 2008 title of World at War, and specifically to the moment when your mission is to take out the airfield and cripple the supply network in an all-out assault on Peleliu Island. But instead of actually helping out your squad once you reach the island and you know like actually trying to take out the enemies and protect your mates, why don't you go and splash around in some puddles instead? Next up, we're briefly checking in on Deliver Us The Moon, where the Earth's last remaining astronaut sets out on a do or die mission to help save humanity and investigate why the lunar colony that helps provide Earth with a vital supply of energy has gone silent. Anyway, it is right at the end of the game and after travelling on the monorail that you will reach this location and where you should wander into the crew quarters and use ASE to help you check out the obstructed toilet in the corner. Welcome back to the Alien Team, Commander. Our last easter egg today takes us to the Alien Commander tutorial in Natural Selection 2, where as Commander, and from the comfort of your hive, your job is to oversee the playing field and provide a steady flow of resources. But what happens during the tutorial if we were to completely ignore the narrator and right after extending the cis chain to hydroanalysis, and if we took some time out to observe this gorge hard at work? Our hive has finished upgrading and is now a shift hive. Now we can make our teammates more effective by placing upgrade structures called spurs. Upgrades are valuable structures and therefore should be placed somewhere safe. Place a spur in launch control now. Don't worry about what the gorge is doing, you have your own tasks to deal with. Quit looking at the damn gorge, I'm trying to teach you stuff. Clearly, the gorge is very busy right now and doesn't need you staring at them. Can't you see you're bothering the gorge? The gorge is asking you politely to leave. The Gorge wants you to do your job, which is that way. I 
Okay, you know what? I'm using my tutorial voiceover authority to grant the Gorge special cloaking powers. Try following them now. Ah, fine. Your gorge-watching senses are quite sharp, I'll give you that. Now can we please get on with the tutorial? I don't think the gorge likes you very much. Not like they can hurt us in here, though. Where are they going now? What is it doing? Oh no! No! Stop them! Do you realize what you've done? Why couldn't you have just done the tutorial like a normal person? You've doomed us all!